right guys, in today's video we're going to talk about options and shotguns for dove hunting. Well, here's a little story about two friends that came together and we started up a YouTube just to talk about whatever. We're on a boat catching big bass and smashing them cats. From review videos to just making you laugh. Cause we got guns, we got knives, we got fishing, we got hunting, we got everything you like. So hit that subscribe button. We're in the outdoors doing things that we love. We're talking guitars, girls, green grass, and guns. Okay, so we have like four different kinds of shotguns that I would recommend for dove hunting. Not necessarily this tactical shotgun because this thing will beat you to death. Uh, it's just got such a short barrel on it. Let's just forget that this is a tactical shotgun, but this is a Remington 870. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with Remington 870s, this is a, what do I say, world-renowned shotgun. Uh, comes in many different styles. This one just happens to be the tactical one. Uh, these do come in hunting versions where you're going to get a, a much longer barrel. This one's 18 inches. Uh, of course, this isn't really ergonomic for, for hunting. This is really a tactical shotgun. Like I say, just forget this is tactical. Let's pretend this is a hunting gun. So this is a pump action shotgun. The pump action means that for every action on this, we have to pump it. You have to do this for every round that comes out of uh, that you cycle through this. So we're going to be shooting a bird, bam, and uh, something when these aren't loaded up, you do have to press a little button here to get this to cycle. So let's say there's a bird up there, we mm, shoot that bird, oop, now we got to run back for our second shot. I'm not a fan of pump action shotguns. You can disagree with me if you want, but these are not the most reliable form of shotguns out there. There's a different kind of shotgun that will be the most reliable, but I would put this one here at the bottom of a li list when it comes to reliability. If you get some stuff in here, there's just some, I've seen these foul up and not work. They are cool though. Uh, one other thing about these pump action shotguns, a lot of the times these will have an extended shell holder. Anytime you're out hunting, you will have to plug your shotguns if they hold more than three shells. What that means is you will have to put a plug in here. Whether you go out and find a stick out in the woods, just take this cap off of here, put a stick in here, and make sure that this only holds three shotgun shells. I really don't have much to say about the, the pump actions other than they're kind of slow and cumbersome. One thing good about a slow shotgun though, is that it forces you to take your time on your shot. So once, once you do get that off, your first shot, you're instinctively going to take your time on it just because you know that there's going to be a little bit extra time on your follow-up shot. So, you know, you're not, you're not really back on target as quick as you should be if you're missing birds and if you're hunting doves, you're missing birds. So the pump action shotgun is not going to be first up on my list. I'm not going to say don't use it. I'm just uh, giving options on what kind of shotguns you could be using. The bottom of the list, I'm going to go ahead and throw a pump action shotgun on there. Not the Remington 870. That's not at the bottom of my list. There's other guns that will be at the bottom, bottom of the barrel, but definitely not the Remington 870. Uh, any Remington shotgun out there is going to suit you fine. Let's get into the next gun. Okay, so I don't own a brake action shotgun, but that will be my second gun in the list from the bottom on shotguns that I think that you should use while you're out dove hunting. I'll throw in a couple of pictures right here of what a brake action shotgun is. Those only hold two rounds unless you go to a try something or another. I've never seen one, never shot one, so I don't know anything about them. At any rate, a uh, brake action shotgun normally most commonly known as a double barrel shotgun. That's what most people would know those by. What that does is it just breaks open at the chamber, right where the butt stock meets the barrel. It breaks open right there. You throw through two shotgun shells in there, close it back up, and you've got two shots, two quick shots. One thing about, one thing bad about that, and the reason why it's not at the top of my list, is because of those two shots. That's all you get is two shots. So we're gonna be open. We're gonna have our action open. The barrel is broke open. We're going to have two shotgun shells in there and just to be safe we're going to be standing out here we got our shotgun dangled off off of our arm we're waiting around waiting for birds here comes some birds right here crack you uh close that action now in the back of your mind you've only got two shots 
for these uh, three birds coming through. Let's say there's only two birds coming through. We got that action closed. The birds are getting close. Boom, you missed one. Okay, now do we follow up on the first bird or do we go to the second one? You've only got one shot to decide on which one you're going to go with. Let's uh, double up on the first one. Bam, missed him. All right, well, now we're out of bullets. And he's long gone. We're not out of bullets, we're out of shotgun shells. So those birds are gone. They're long gone. Now we got to break that action back open, get our spent cartridges out, shotgun shells, put them in our waste pile, put two more in there and uh, wait for the next group to come along. Here they come, boom, 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 boom. Ooh, followed up on one bird, got him on the second shot, but there's three more coming. So, I don't know. I just think that break action shotguns, albeit they probably are the most reliable, but just the two shots coming out of the gun, knowing that you have to reload after those two shots. That's just why I'm not going to put it at the top of the list. That's why I'm going to put it at number two, even above the pump action shotgun. One thing about the double shots though, that's all you get is two. That slows you down even more on deciding on which bird you're going to shoot. It's also going to really hone in your skills on shooting birds because you're going to have to slow down, think about your leeway, and there's just a lot more thought, press go thought process going on being that you know that you've only got two shots. So it's going to make you slow down. It's going to make you think about your target, your lead, and everything on that shot. So the break action shotgun, it really is a great option. Just a little bit slow for me. That goes back to a lot of childhood hunting videos with my 22 long rifles, bolt actions. You really do slow down when you don't have quick follow-up shots accessible. So the break action shotgun is a good choice. Actually, I do have a uh, bolt action shotgun in 410. I forgot to bring that out today. Really old gun, it's not shootable. At any rate, let's move on to the next gun. All right, for my first choice, I'm gonna go with a fully semi-automatic shotgun. If I wanted to fire this on full semi-automatic, all I do is keep firing. Preferably in 12 gauge. Now these are just my preferences. This one right here is a Beretta Silver Mallard, I believe, an AL390. Super old shotgun. I'm close to 50 years old. I got this gun when I was about 20 years old. This is no exaggeration. I, I can count on one hand how many malfunctions this has had. I've shot reloads through here that has fallen apart. All the, all the pebbles just come loose, fall apart in here. This gun, I'm telling you what, it just runs. This gun runs 100%. My favorite gun that I've ever owned, probably my favorite gun that I will ever own. At any rate, this is a 12 gauge, 12 gauge semi-automatic shotgun. This does have all of the synthetic stock accoutrements to it. Even though I say that, it is a little bit heavy of a gun because it's a little bit outdated. Although all of the functionality of this gun is going to translate into any of the semi-automatic shotguns that you're going to come across. It's a great option. I'm not saying I'm the best shooter, but I'm a fairly good shooter. But with the semi-automatic and there's birds flying over, well, I know for a fact that that first bird's going down, whether it's on the first shot or second shot. And if you've been dove hunting before, you know how much of a humbling sport that is. For some reason, those things are just amazingly hard to shoot. So like I say, all uh, th this thing runs just like any others. As a matter of fact, let me grab a CZ, what do we got here? 1012, an extremely, an extremely nice shotgun. Uh, we do, I'm not sure if the, uh, the stock and foregrip on here is actual wood or synthetic. This is Andy's gun that he bought last year and we have yet to shoot this yet. Like I say, it's a CZ. And if you are interested in going out and buying a shotgun, CZ makes amazing, amazing firearms. Uh, whether it be shotgun, pistols, I don't think they do rifles. At any rate, CZ, amazing company. Uh, Beretta, amazing company. Benelli, amazing company. We're getting up there in prices, but still yet amazing companies and they make amazing firearms. So like I say, all of these semi-automatics, they're gonna be running in the same battery of arms. We're ready to shoot. 
got three three shells in here like i say if you do have an extended magazine uh a shotgun magazine on here we will need to put a plug in here to make sure that this only holds three rounds so we're loaded up actually we're not we're we're empty but we're loaded up we got three shotgun shells in here and we're waiting for the dub to fly over it's 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 uh it's a different story when you're running with semi-automatics we got three birds coming over and here i already said it but i'll say it again i know that this first bird's going down bam 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 never took my nose never took my cheek off of the cheek weld i got three rounds off on that first bird and even if i did get that bird on the first shot that second bird's going down uh hopefully if the second bird went down i got the third bird so three shots uh you're going to be it holds the same amount as a pump action shotgun but your follow-up shots are going to be immediate with a semi-automatic shotgun and that's why I prefer to use a semi-automatic shotgun uh, battery or battery of arms. It's very, very, very simple to use. Uh, throw one, one shell anywhere you want. Close it up. You got one chambered. And we can throw two more into the magazine well. All right. So I'm going to close this video out. And what I'm going to recommend. First recommendation is going to be a semi-automatic shotgun price ranges we need to look at price ranges because there are some guns out there that i wouldn't recommend buying one of those i think that's called a maverick worst shotgun on the market that i have ever shot in my life i don't even i don't know if the brand is maverick or the make is maverick but that's a pump action shotgun and i'm going to throw that one all the way down to the bottom of the barrel i'm going to throw some coals on top of it throw some wood on top of that and burn it and that's how far down on the bottom of the list i want that to be uh, the CZ. Guys, stick around if you want to see us shoot this CZ because we're going to be testing this out today for sure. And then I'm going to put all other uh, pump action shotguns, I'm going to put those on the bottom list, brake action barrels, and then semi-automatic shotguns. So that is really about all that I have to say about the shotguns. Watch your price point because you are going to get what you pay for. Watch the names because you are going to get what you pay for again. There's a lot more in-depth detail that I can go into. You need to make sure that we do have a threaded barrel so that you can put a modified improved full chokes into your shotgun. That's very important on accuracy, whether you're good or not. Uh, a choke can make you a better shooter or a choke can make you a bad shooter, depending on what you're shooting, how far you're shooting. There's a lot of other details that I can go into in this video to make this about two hours long I'm willing to talk about it, but you're probably not willing to listen to it. So stick around if you want to see some shooting videos on this. I hope this video brought you some good information. If it did, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Po! Wait, this... We don't have to Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday Thursday. Thursday. I just dream of fishing while I'm going through my workday. I listen to my boss, though he's driving me berserk. Eh? Damn it, I can't take much more because my brain is really hurting. And now the bank is always calling and I don't know what to do. And I haven't bought a crankbait since like 1992. But the bass are out there screwing.